Today's video is brought to you by URCD Keys, the best source for Windows 10 and Office Professional product keys at deeply discounted prices. More details at the end of the video. William comes in with a question regarding Threadripper. He says, what would you do with the Threadripper 1950X that's acting funny? It's refusing to boot unless you repeat RAM or GPU running at 1x. Send it to bed without multitasking? Not that kind of acting funny. On a serious note, um, the, the first generation Ryzen chips could they, be fussy. They were fussy. I have a 1950X mm -hmm. and it was fine, but it went through a long series of teething troubles and a lot of part changes and adjustments before it finally became... RAM was fussy too, wasn't it? Oh, RAM was just atrocious. So I'm wondering if RAM might be an issue. RAM might be definitely an issue. And he even mentioned, unless he repeats exactly. RAM settings or GPU settings. Exactly. BIOS updates. Yep. I have a X399 ASUS ROG Strix-E Threadripper board on a 1950X and between many BIOS updates and many swaps of RAM, I currently ended up with Flare X RAM from G School in there, and that was well, one, some of the only RAM that was reliable. It's running stable right now, but it took a lot to get there. Yeah. Uh, honestly, do you, do you know what I would do with it? Uh, replace it with not Threadripper? Sell it. Yeah. The first generation Threadrippers are fussy. If you want to change the RAM and if you want to update your BIOS, you know, another thing you might consider doing, and this is something I'll bet a lot of people don't do with their BIOS. I've done it a couple of times and it has solved problems, especially when you brick the board. Flash mm. the older BIOS versions and then reflash the new version. Uh, yeah, we had to do that. You shouldn't ever have to do that. Reverting to an old version of the BIOS, well, that's ridiculous. Who would ever do that? Well, I have actually, I have, I have had a couple of cases with Ryzen, not that particular board, but with Ryzen, especially the first generation boards, where you would flash to the newest version and it wouldn't work. Sometimes it bricked the board, sometimes it would boot, but it would never be stable or it wouldn't detect the RAM or you couldn't turn on XMP or you'd have weird problems. Um, we had a Gigabyte X370 a K7 board, a very $229 board, premium high-end board, Gigabyte uh, X370 uh, K7 board that we ended up using the BIOS flashback to go all the way back to the launch BIOS. We did. And then I, I didn't do every BIOS, but I skipped like every third BIOS. And I did like eight BIOS flashes, one after the other, booting it up, making sure it worked. And then I would go just like three BIOSes and then three more. And I worked my way from the original, it took like four hours to go from the original BIOS to the new BIOS. And once I finally did, the board worked fine. Fussy as heck. Now, the new X570 boards are not that bad. I, I have had far fewer problems with the 500 series and boards. And the second generation Threadripper Ripper was much better. It, it was, but the second generation Threadripper was on the same 399 boards. They never made a 499. I would skip both of them, to be completely honest with you. I, they're just, it, they're I, stuck in time at a period in the early days of, of Zen. Yeah, head over to Zen 3. Well, even the, 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 the the Zen 3 Threadrippers aren't out yet, but the... Well, uh, no, I mean Zen 3, just Zen 3, not Zen 3 Threadripper. Yeah, I mean, because you can get a Ryzen 9 5950X on an X570 board and just make all those problems go away. And you get monstrously faster performance. Now, of course, he probably doesn't want to hear that because he's like, I don't want to do that. That's exactly. expensive. He thinks he'll just sell it. So it's I have... One sitting on the floor over there, which you guys can't see. Yep. And I'm not using it for anything. Nope. It's just not worth my time. So one of you should buy it. <laughs> well, it's stable now. It, but... it is stable now. Well, it's stable with the Flare X RAM I have in it. Sure. I might end up selling it with the Flare X RAM because it, it works. works with very few other RAM kits. Correct. The downside? There's only 16 gigs in there, and Ooh. a 16 core machine needs more than six. That's kind of the predicament. Oh, that is a predicament. Yeah. Nobody who needs a 16 core chip also only needs 16 gigs of RAM. Well, unless they're lucky enough to have more of the same RAM. Probably not. 
Hopefully that helps you, man. URCD Keys is the best source for genuine Windows 10 and Office Professional product keys that work the first time, every time. Get 20% off normal prices using our discount code BST for Bite Size Tech and the link in the video description below. $15 gets you a Windows 10 Professional OEM key that is a real product key, activates directly with Microsoft, use it forever as it links to your Microsoft account and it works through reinstalls. Get a full copy of Office 2019 Professional Plus for about $50 that redeems at setup.office.com using your Microsoft account. It also works forever through reinstalls. We have been using URCD keys for almost three years now and recommend you do so as well.